Today we are flashing Realtek WBR2 and WBR3 modules, which are based on the RTL A72OCF chip. Devices with such models can be easily run free from cloud and paired with Home Assistant. Let's start by programming WBR2. We have already desoldered it from the device board. Start by adding flux and some PB solder to the pads. The procedure will be similar to flashing ESP module, but you will need few more wires. First solder power wires 3.3 volts and ground. Make sure to keep your soldering iron tip clean, it will make soldering easier. Then solder log RX and log TX, which are UART signals used for programming. Then solder A0 and A13, which must be pulled high at reboot time. Finally, on the other side of the module, solder EN wire, which can be used to reset it. Now you can connect everything like you have shown on the screen. You need a reliable USB to UART converter. Once you have connection done, check it by opening UART terminal and shorting EN to the ground for a short moment. It should print boot message like we have shown on the screen. If not, check your connections. Finally, you can use Amiba Z2 flashing tool on your PC to flash new firmware to the module. Links are available in the video description. Set flash pins to B6 and B12. Make sure your settings are as on our screenshot. Finally, start flashing. When the flashing is done, you can finally disconnect two booting pins from 3.3 volt and reset again with TSIN to start the new firmware. Then you can configure OBK as usual to the access point. The same procedure can be done for WBR3 module but this module has required pads on the back, so you will need to desolder it. Here is WBR3 flashing procedure, this time without a commentary. So this is how you can run your WBR modules free from the cloud. For the next steps and recommendation, please see linked forum treat. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forum. You can also check out our IoT device turndown list. See you.